Tom and Karen, Eric Davis, Hey to See Airstream, wanted to thank you for the uh, opportunity to uh, earn your business. Uh, I guess by way of DC and Carolina and your, your family here in Columbus and wherever else in the country you're gonna be traveling. Uh, we're gonna talk today about the 25 foot front bedroom uh, International Serenity. Uh, I didn't get a chance to go over some of the details, so thought of what I'd do is do a walk around, uh, give you some insight as to uh, the, the uh, ins and outs of the 25, and then talk a little bit about the inside. We're going to start right up front here with the, this is all Lexan. It's a kind of a, the uh, high-end plastic that has got the UV tint to it. Keeping in mind, not only does it form the awning for the front bedroom, but you have the interior UV protected uh, uh, glass that also is um, that three position um, front window, which is gonna draw a lot of air in, but also give you that, to me, the cool effect that you'll get in for the front bedroom. You've got stainless steel wraps. Now these wraps are kind of unique. Yes, they will protect from all of that road debris, uh, but I believe they're just the cool factor. They're really what sets off the Airstream. Um, they are the bras that are gonna protect my aluminum, but also they are on a hinged pivot. So they can pivot out so you can get to uh, the back of the unit to uh, clean the aluminum. And also, uh, they can be replaced if they get a ton of road damage, which someday I hope they do. Now let's talk about the leveling system. The leveling system is Barker. The Barker system is something that this is what you will utilize not only to level the travel trailer, but also when you lock into that weight distribution hitch, this is going to be the motor that's going to lift that truck and that, uh, or that uh, SUV and the 25 foot off the ground so we can slide our weight distribution bars in, create a level playing field. We have then the um, shroud that goes over twin 30 pound propane tanks that is 60 pounds of propane. That'll keep you off the planet for quite some time. Accompanying this system up front is going to be back here. You have a dual uh, interstate marine type deep cell batteries. I think you guys to told me that uh, there was a, um, uh, a boat in your background or a yacht or a ship, I don't know, some big thing that you guys hung out on for the period of time. So uh, dual 12 volt batteries. What you don't see, there's also a spare tire rack underneath these. If you go to something that's out on a lot, you will see a lot of times they put a big spare tire on the back of these travel trailers. What ends up happening is the UV light gets to those. They end up breaking down at a more rapid rate than something that would be on the travel trailer itself. Now, uh, other, other items. This is the uh, additional 30 amp hookup for uh, your system. What that is all about really is your generator. I think we talked a little bit about instead of uh, investing in one of those massive generators, you can actually get a pair of the small Hondas or Yamahas, cross-reference them, and then uh, ever try to carry uh, two things as opposed to one big thing. And they're quiet. Uh, so we, I think that would probably be something that you want to consider investing in. Now, what else we have here is a quick disconnect propane port. What's that gonna allow us to do? Well, I, first of all, I love the location. It's protected by the uh, tongue of the trailer, but also if I'm gonna be grilling, which this is a quick disconnect, uh, you'll get an additional length of gas line. I'm gonna be grilling out here, which is totally opposite the front door of this unit. So I think the positioning on it is also extremely cool. So there's a lot going on on the front end of the uh, Airstream, uh, including all the ground protection, everything we've got going as far as propane, the Barker system, the batteries. But come on around, let's see what else we got. As we make our way around the uh, 25 foot International, I want to point out right here, uh, this is the whole concept of what Airstream signature buck riveting. Buck riveting, you went to the factory, you understand that. It takes two people. Uh, inside, outside, and they literally, they seat those rivets by sound. So this is where the whole craftsmanship, the artisan comes in. 
in the um, in the in the windows, which of course have that uh, UV tint, they're also radiused. So these are fitted to each individual airstream. There's also an a uh, rail. Uh, this is your uh, rain rail, so that you're going to be able to keep all of that all that water out of your unit. And above and beyond that, these are jealousy type windows that pivot out. They have three position mechanism in them. So that allows us to uh, not only avoid the rain, but also get a lot of air inside this travel trailer. While uh, I'm, I'm here, I wanna point out uh, one of the additions to the Serenity, and that is our, our awning. Now the awning, obviously, it, it's very easy for me to take this awning and uh, put it in and pull it out. Not now, only is it beautifully accomplished, but it is all sunbrella fabric. What this allows us to do is to, um, well, it's, it's the whole durability factor, uh, but also sunbrella is a company that uh, been around for years. It's the best in the business, and certainly it accomplishes that uh, accent to the Airstream that I think is beautifully done. So you have the window awning, you have the wrap awning on, on the, the other side, and then you have a rear uh, window awning. So you've got awnings that wrap the entire length of this. Um, I want to point out a couple of things. We've got the stabilizers. These are ball jack stabilizers. This allows you to keep that uh, Airstream in position and stabilized anywhere you are. And they're, they're all galvanized steel, very easy operation. You do have storage for your uh, sewer hose back here. We talked a little bit about how on the 25, the sewer system is in front of the rear axles. So you have the gray water, the black water, and obviously the fact that everything is lighted. Way cool. Then, some of the fun stuff. You have an indoor-outdoor shower with, that, uh, with the hose and the nozzle. So that spray port can be used when you're coming out of the lake for the dogs, the kids, grandma, whatever. Then we've got a locking potable water resource. Uh, this allows, this means that no one's gonna have access to that water source except you. The uh, cool stuff happens here. This is where you have your inlet for your city water connection with a regulator. This water will be regulated to 65.5 PSI. Inside here, there's going to be PVC, copper, there's a lot of interior tubing. You don't want to worry about any gaskets breaking loose because of too much water pressure, already handled by Airstream. Then you have the black water flush. Picture, if you will, an umbrella where the tines are shooting out high pressure water. That's going to take that system, that black water system, wash that entirely out. I refer to it as kind of the clean hands thing. Um, the axle system. It's a Dexter axle system, which has um, the rubber torsion bar uh, construction, meaning that they freeze those rubber bars in nitrogen, which collapses them and allows them to an invert an axle through the entire uh, system to give you that independent ride. Then you have also, you have no lube hubs, you have never adjust brakes, and then above and beyond that, they add shock absorbers, so you have a shock absorber system. So as far as the ride, I think I might have told you about how I've got a bunch of hours spent inside one of these running down the road. Um, I know how they ride. It's the reason that they're going to be around a lot longer than you and I. Um, then we have the interior 30 amp service. Uh, the shore power, so shore power hookup is here. And then down here you have the opportunity to plug in a satellite system. You have the opportunity to plug in a cable system. So cable, satellite, and all your power uh, in one location. By the way, let's quickly point out, this is your living area of the 25. Notice how much light you're going to get pouring in You've got radius windows, radius windows. You've got overhead vista view windows. That's what Airstream is all about. Let the light in. Come on around. Tom, Karen, I want to point out uh, what I think is important about uh, construction. Every light that is on an Airstream travel trailer, we're talking about the exterior lights. We're talking about the running lamps. We're talking about all the interior lamps. They're all LED. This is that whole concept that we talked about 
This is a, a, a I would call a low maintenance luxury touring coach. The point to that is when you get to, when you come back to Columbus to hang out with the family, you don't want to be putting the time in uh, when you could be relaxing and enjoying um, this beautiful Airstream. So LED lights, standard. Interior lighting, all LED, standard. Exterior running lamps, LED, standard. Um, the International Series, what's cool, we talked about some of this stuff, you have a trunk. Now, uh, this is kind of fun because this will be utilized not only for storing all that stuff that you need, leveling blocks, an additional sewer hose, additional uh, electric cord, um, but also the bumper will supply you an opportunity to do things such as bike racks or additional storage that you might have uh, aftermarket. Once again, uh, the Airstream, just the back end, a lot going on. Come on around. So Tom Karen, uh, the Zipti awning has a lot of adjustments to it. What I mean by that is you can, you can adjust the pitch, meaning that if you had a um, rain, if you had something along those lines, and it's uh, easily accomplished by anyone. The point to the pitch adjustment, adjustment is that no matter where the sun is, we can adjust for shade. Uh, no matter where the rain is, we can adjust for rain. Tom, Karen, we also talked about the trop room, which is the opportunity to do a zip enclosure, uh, which is going to be great for, I don't know, grandkids, dogs, make sure grandma doesn't get away. It's a beautiful thing. So once again, the zip de awning is, I, I would think by the time you and I spend time in our checkout, you can have this awning uh, up and down in a period of less than five minutes. Uh, that's what's kind of cool about uh, setting up an Airstream. It's not labor intensive. Um, now we're going to talk about something that I'm kind of passionate about, and that's the construction. Construction of an Airstream starts with an interior screen door that is all fully welded. Now on the Serenity, we have uh, the opportunity to have a people protector, and then we have that uh, kid and dog protector, but when you close a door on an Airstream, that uh, door, let's say, closes and remains closed. The, in, the exterior uh, Airstream door has not only all that beautiful light that's going to pour in, but this is a, I would say, kind of an aircraft type construction with the radius done with these cast aluminum um, hinges completely uh, completely insulated with an R Factor 8 Echobat insula insulation. But once again, when you shut that Airstream door, uh, it remains shut. And then of course, when I, you see when I open it, it captures the screen door. It takes Airstream almost eight hours just to manufacture a single door. So this is really what Airstream is all about. And I think you remember me talking about the keying and uh, the entry keys for an Airstream. There are, I have a master key to open almost everything on the planet. The point to an Airstream is they are all individually keyed. Uh, so let's check out probably what's most exciting, the interior on the International Serenity. As you enter the uh, Serenity, obviously what, what really catches you is all the decor. Yes, it is elegant design, but what I love is everything is at your fingertips. You have all of your lighting, uh, the dimming and on off switches for all of your exterior and interior lighting. You have your battery disconnect here, which is going to allow you to, uh, when you're storing the unit, when you're leaving the unit and you're on uh, your uh, battery power, you can, you can shut the entire system down. You have a GFI um, additional outlet here, which can be utilized both inside and outside of the trailer. So that becomes important. But obviously what, you, what catches your eye is this beautiful decor. So as you walk into the Serenity, um, yes, uh, cabinetry, color, uh, design, that all is very apparent. But what is to me the cool factor? is all the lighting that's being dumped into this uh, exterior lighting. What I mean by that? You have overhead, overhead uh, skylights, 
And then you have the uh, radius Airstream windows, which feature not only the uh, beautiful ocean air shades, the overhead vista views, which allows you to close off the entire deck of the trailer, but still have light pouring in. Then you have the opportunity with LED lights, cool to the touch, all on rheostats, backlit lighting with the grass cloth enclosure of the overhead cabinetry, um, the accent lighting, the down lighting underneath, and then of course the panoramic windows that wrap. So in, in doing the design work on a 25, I have to tell you, this is to me the optimum as far as the inside out. All the light that's pouring in, but certainly all of the uh, LED lighting. And then let's not forget our fantastic fans. The fantastic fans have a very unique feature. What that is, is a membrane. It's a membrane that when you catch, when you catch water in that, say that we leave the planet, we leave that, we leave that um, um, exterior uh, vent fan open, guess what? Any moisture that hits that membrane automatically closes. What would you expect out of a luxury touring coach? Uh, these details. You have the, um, uh, people ask, okay, what's this, Eric? Well, very simply, this is your, um, this is uh, for the Wi-Fi Bluetooth microphone. What that allows you to do is you can take that smartphone and when you walk into this uh, beautiful coach, guess what? A uh, phone call comes in, you answer that phone call, all of it has takes care of itself with the so you can walk anywhere in the coach itself and all of that um, that phone call will be handled with the speaker system and the uh, bluetooth synced microphone you do have dvd cd additional um, ports for your uh, usb you have that inverted outlet system now we talked a little bit about the inverted outlet system what that allows you to do is to not only utilize everything on the coach, but also plug in 110 uh, product like a, a computer. You need a coffee maker and stay off the planet for a extended period of time. Now you have a dinette that drops into place. That will drop down to give us a dual sleeper. And then you have the additional pullout, which allows you to capture that secondary sleeping system. So. The entire L-shaped lounge area of the 25 becomes very important because I can actually put these cushions into place, drop down, take that back cushion off of my additional sofa here and create a wonderful lounge area. Um, let's not forget the Clarion system. The Clarion system has a subwoofer that, uh, well, I'll tell you what, guys, if you like music and you want to blow the doors off of this beautiful Serenity, uh, let's crank it up and let's do that. Now we're going to go midship. We're going to talk a little bit about the galley in the Airstream. The galley in the Airstream uh, features some very cool stuff. First of all, this uh, accented, beautifully done Corian work surfaces, which gives us all this beautiful counter space. You have a deep well stainless steel uh, sink with the Lucite cap, obviously great cutting board. The um, uh, faucet here is growy, so they use the European growy system, uh, which gives you the spray nozzle, so obviously just beautifully done. You have the uh, wonderful porthole windows with the ocean air, and then you have everything at your fingertips. What I mean by that, your computer system, which allows you to test battery, fresh water, gray water, black water, and start your um, water pump at your fingertips so you can monitor every system on the travel trailer. You have an additional GFI outlet here. You have the inverter system. Obviously if you're going to be boondocking or you're going to be uh, off-grid you want to be able to utilize those batteries to your advantage and then of course your overhead lighting is here. What else we have is we have a European vented exhaust fan which allows us to completely have access to all of our overhead storage, but still vent all that air outside of the travel trailer. Uh, very nicely accomplished here. Then we have a three burner 
high output range, combine that with a convection microwave. We talked a little bit about this, uh, Karen, where you can, you can bake cookies, but yet still utilize a lot of that beautiful storage. What I mean by storage is you have side-mounted steel rides with locking capability, and then look at the pantry space that we have under mount. And you have kind of some cool things, like the, uh, like the trash can that goes into place. And then uh, what I think is kind of unique about the Airstream is their uh, adjustable rack pantry system. So once again, utilizing every square inch of the travel trailer. And then as we shift over here, you're going to see that 28 inch HD LED TV. Combine that with seven cubic feet of refrigerator freezer, which by the way, I call this my, my smart system. What I mean by my smart system is that when you release that shore power, what happens? Immediately it gets shifted over to uh, propane so that I, if I'm getting ready to roll down the road, I'm still going to be able to uh, keep, those, uh, keep that beautiful bottle of wine chilled. So once again, the storage overhead undermount, the galley in the uh, Airstream Serenity sets up beautifully. Let's go midship and check out the lavatories. As we move midship, to me, one of the cool features of the 25 is the ability to shut off my uh, living area from my master bedroom in two different locations. So that would allow me, if I'm in the master, to have access to my wardrobe, which is LED lighted. We've got a lot of depth in there, so you've got plenty of room for overhead storage. But it also allows someone to be utilizing the uh, shower, which by the way, you can see it's got pebbled glass. It's got overhead 12 volt um, uh, vented fans. You've got a uh, drying clothes rack in there along with a fully adjustable uh, shower head with seating capability. So the shower sets up beautifully. Someone can be utilizing the shower while someone else is utilizing the lavatory. Now that lavatory gives you the that gives you that pedestal toilet, uh, plenty of room to change your socks. You have the wonderful Asian sand um, cabinetry, the uh, stainless steel with the growy appliances, and look at all of the storage we have. We have storage under, we have storage over, we've got the beautiful LED lighting with additional uh, 12 volt fans to keep that air because we know that the moisture is uh, not necessarily conducive to a environment like this. Let's get it out of here. But the lavatory sets up beautifully in the Airstream. We've now arrived in the master bedroom. And what this also allows us to do, we talk about these areas that we're able to enclose. So now I can close off my master bedroom from the rest of the cabinet, uh, from the rest of the cabin being the, um, the living space, the uh, mid deck uh, lavatory space. And I can close that off and walk into my beautiful um, master bedroom. Now, what's great about the master here is that you have, of course, the walk around queen, which is going to give you all that beautiful space. Let's not forget the panoramic windows. We have windows for cross ventilation. We have windows for rear ventilation. We have overhead fantastic fans to move that, that uh, air around. And then we have all the fun stuff like the overhead lighting, which, which is on rheostats. We've got the backlit cabinetry. And then we have um, nightstands with USB ports, which also are our 110 outlets. Uh, but storage in the Serenity is extensive. You have the undermount storage with the slide out bins. And then you have an additional wardrobe storage with chest of drawers. Okay, so one thing that's kind of fun is that you have additional LED reading lamps in the Serenity. This is just uh, so that you can reach up and engage that uh, nightlight, stay while you're reading that book at the end of the day. 
So in the in the 25 foot Serenity, you have kind of the cool factor. Then you've got the uh, extended arm on the uh, on the 22 inch HD LED TV, which that means, okay, Tom, while uh, while uh, Karen is watching NFL football in front, you can be watching Gone with the Wind back here. That's a beautiful thing. Uh, then you have an additional inverted outlet so we can run the HD LED TV off of the battery. But then we have our Dometic system. This is your heating and cooling system. What this represents is very simply, it's just like home. Let's set it and forget it. We pick a temperature, we go for it. But what this also employs now in the 25 footer is with the most important thing we talked about, which is that beautiful ducted AC, which means you have that clean silhouette. But in this system, guess what? We have what's called a heat pump, which allows us to utilize our overhead um, condenser on our Dometic system using electric power, our shore power, as opposed to utilizing our propane, which is what the forced air uh, heating and cooling system work with. So anyway, this is the brains of the operation. Uh, it's programmable, you can, it's got the clock, it's got the interior temperature. But once again, to me, it's the ease of use, set it and forget it. So obviously the master bedroom got a lot going Tom on. Tom and Karen wanted to thank you for all the time. Um, I uh, certainly appreciate you uh, making the trek by. Uh, I hope your travels to, I think, Carolina, back to DC are all safe, and I understand you're gonna come back for the holidays. Um, give me a call if you need anything. My, uh, my phone is area code 614-279-8880, or you can get me be, via email at eric at um, you guys were great. You're, you're, you're doing this the right way. You're pretty focused on what you wanted. Also, let's face it, you, got, you went to the factory, you did the math. Uh, the bottom line is, uh, my advice, enjoy the journey, uh, but most of all, happy camping.